we may be a little surprised. And the response to this guy's idea is very right. surprising right. in many respects. Right. Uh, very interesting. Mike's here. He doesn't really know what we're talking about because he wasn't here last week. Nope. So uh, I know some of it. Mike may scoff. He may say, could work. Who knows? I scoff at everything, so that's <laughs> pretty so, much, you know, my So I'm not really going out on I'm a limb I'm a scoffer, there. that's what that's I do. Right. Yeah, I'm a professional scoffologist. scoffologist. Are you a nice. certified scoffologist? Do you have a license I'm to I'm working on the same Okay, okay. Yeah, okay so Dr. Scoff, let's hear the weather. My year of scoff school. <laughs> Roadways. Who could forget the video? Who could forget the experience of the what prevent them? So Andrea Watkins joins us with one man's idea, which Andrea, I think when we first heard about it, everybody's just like, oh, that's just crazy. But it's not necessarily, right? Well, it's, <laughs> well <laughs> huh. I'm thinking about it. It's an interesting idea, and I just think maybe somebody somewhere is going to come up with a way to do it in, in decades from now. Okay. Okay, okay. It may prove to be crazy, but right now, there are people who still believe it can be done. One idea from a local freelance inventor got some interesting reviews from the experts. Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, $91 billion in damage, 2,000 lives lost. Who wouldn't want to prevent a recurrence, if we only could? To me, anything that causes death, that can be stopped, and, and it's not approached, is insanity. Mike McFall, a freelance inventor with a variety of engineering and military experience behind him, believes hurricanes can be stopped. That's based on the fact that hurricanes weaken quickly over land or cold water. So my idea was to find a way to cool off the water, to knock down or stop a hurricane. My idea was to bubble air up from deep in the ocean to carry cold water up. McFall's small prototype shows how air bubbles circulate the water, just like any aquarium pump. But to stop a hurricane, the air pumps need to be on a grand scale. A field of pipes full of holes laid at least 300 feet deep. The pipes are 500 miles long and one mile apart. And when a tropical storm is anticipated, air is pumped into the pipes. It escapes, creating those bubbles. Cold water from below mixes with the warm water at the surface, and sufficient cooling will starve a hurricane of its much-needed warm moisture. If Houston gets hit, if Category 5 walks right up the ship channel, there's no, you know, you couldn't put a price on how much damage it would be. Gene Haffel, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, says McFall's idea has some merit. Theoretically, it would do the job. I mean, it would cool the the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and, um, and suppress uh, hurricane activity. Logistically, I think it's an impossible task. Havel also cautions, though, that there are other factors causing hurricanes. The record-breaking organization of Umberto is a good, albeit unusual, example. The intensification was probably the upper-level winds. The marine life is another concern. Dr. Gilbert Rowe, a marine biologist at Texas A&M Galveston, has a big problem with the idea. The bubbles alone would be an ecological, environmental problem. Dr. Rowe says sound in the ocean stops when it hits gas, and this field of bubbles thousands of square miles would create an unprecedented communication dead zone in the Gulf. I would fear that the, the fish, the dolphins, and everything else would just be completely freaked out. But surprisingly, Dr. Rowe believes circulating Gulf waters some other way might be a good thing. If you could upwell that nitrate up into the surface water, that water's cold, that would fertilize the surface water with nitrate, so you would actually be embellishing the food web. Stirring the Gulf, stopping hurricanes, it might all sound crazy, but the government and academic world have been trying to for decades. Now, the trouble is, even if scientists could weaken or steer a storm, they would need some sort of legal protection from lawsuits. Because invariably, someone would say, you made that storm worse for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to tell you that Mike McFall is working on another way to do it without the bubbles. And he says, you know, water pumps don't have to uh, shoot out that many bubbles, right. and it might be more environmentally friendly.
So it was a cause and effect. Yeah. Yes. What do you think? I think it's very interesting. Of course, I also think you could bring a big iceberg in if you want to cool the water. Mm, and that's one of that's actually one of the ideas. And another one is uh, is floating barges into the mm. Gulf of Mexico with huge jet engines that create a, an upwelling. Uh, well, for, in the in the air currents, creates many storms, throws the hurricane off track, cools the water on the surface. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I Why would, not? I that, never, guy's, that guy's from MIT. I would never have thought that the bubbles would cause a problem, but that's the thing is there's always ramifications. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Andrea. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Well, a Tulane University football.